Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today it's my pleasure to talk to you about the 2016 Bay Hill 375 RE. It's a beautiful floor plan, has a huge entertainment area, giant kitchen, extremely open. It's also going to have a slider door entryway and five slides. But let's go ahead and take a look on the outside and then we'll head on in. So right up front, you're going to have your fiberglass front cap. You'll see it's going to cut back right here, which is going to allow for greater turn radius. That way you don't blow out the back window in your truck. Also, you'll have LED strips on both sides. Looks really nice, gives you a little extra light. Right here is going to be the Trail Air Rotaflex Kingpin. So this right here is going to flex, which is going to help control your chucking. That way it's going to give you a better tow experience. Let's go ahead and take a look underneath. We'll open up this front compartment and as you can see it's going to be nice and clean everything is going to be very organized right here is going to be two propane tanks which will have a door on the side you'll also have a third one I'll show you in a little bit but Bay Hill uses 20 pound tanks rather than 30s because it's a lot easier to switch out so you're still going to have 60 pounds of propane but if you need to find it on a Sunday go to any old gas station switch it out you're good to go You'll also have a battery compartment as well as your spare tire right there. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, Bay Hill's got you covered. Right underneath here we can take a look, you'll have your level up system, that's going to be six point hydraulic leveling. That will also be auto level, so it's simply a touch of a button, it'll automatically level it out for you. Of course you can control it manually if you want as well, but it's much simpler, just touch a button. Also, when you are ready to brake camp, you're ready to leave, you can hit it again and it will actually bring the fifth wheel back to where you dropped it off at, so you can just back the truck right in for easy loading of the fifth wheel. Here's going to be that third propane tank I mentioned right there. We can take a look here. You have huge, huge storage here. Great storage. You'll see you're going to have doors on both sides. This is going to be the, to empty out your central vac. Right here is going to be a dimmer switch. If you look underneath, you'll have an LED strip. And depending on the time of the night and how bright you want it, you can go ahead and control that, which is really cool. You'll also have a cable plug in and electric in case you want an outside TV. On the other wall right here, you do have your battery disconnect in case you want to kill all the power to the unit without having to disconnect the battery. And you'll have your inverter, which is going to help run your residential refrigerator. We'll see when we go inside. Also right here, you'll notice we're going to have outside speakers. That way you can listen to some music while you're outside. Above that, you'll notice frameless windows. The, the unit's going to have frameless windows on here. Frameless windows, now they're going to look a lot nicer, but also they have a couple advantages. One, you're going to be able to keep it open when it rains because it's going to tilt open rather than slide so that rainwater is not going to splash in. Also, the, because the seal system, that seal is going to be located behind that tinted glass. A tinted glass is going to help protect that seal from the UV. That way it's less chance for uh, degradation of your window seals. Above that, you'll see your power awning. So you're going to have two power awnings on this coach. One will be here. I'll show you the one in a little bit. But super simple and easy to operate. Touch of a button rolls out. Touch of a button rolls back in. One person operation, which is fantastic. Above that, you're going to have, you can kind of see it on the corner up here by where the cap connects. That's going to be your rain trough. That way any rainwater runs to the front and back instead of coming down on you on the door. Also, you'll see the rolled roof comes, uh, rolls right over. That way in the unfortunate event you do brush up against something, it's not gonna rip your roof open. Four steps to get into the coach, nice and simple. First one's gonna be nice and low, so if you do have bad knees, it's nice and simple to get in. And then right here is gonna be our grab handle, which of course will assist you from the first step all the way into the last one. We can come on back a little further. You take a look underneath, I'll show you. You're gonna have your aluminum rims, that way you have less chance for any kind of rust and corrosion. And right in between, you're gonna have your Equiflex suspension. That, especially in conjunction with your trail air head, is gonna help take out a lot of that bucking and chucking, again, giving you a much better tow experience. 
This is something that's very cool and pretty unique to the, the Bay Hill 375. That's going to be a sliding glass door. Again, four steps to get in. Nice low step, very first one. You have your grab rail. You can just come right in. And not only does that give you a nice second entrance, but it also lets in a ton of sunlight, which really brightens up that rear entertainment area. Right above that, you will see, again, you're going to have the power awning, which is going to come over that sliding glass door. That way you don't have to uh, worry about any water dropping down on top of you. As we come around to the back side of the coach, something that's really neat, you can take a look right here, they do provide extra storage. Not only do you have that huge front storage, but you get bonus storage back here. How great is that? Perfect for fishing poles, firewood, you know, anything else you want to put back there, but that's just a great secondary storage. Three windows on the back here, again, are going to let in a ton of sunlight, and also, if you back up to a beautiful, on a beautiful site, you have a gorgeous view, it's not going to be impeded, you're going to be able to see what's going to be behind you. Take a look at the roof line, you'll see you have a crowned roof, again, that way the water runs to the sides, hit those rain, hits those rain troughs, and runs to the front and the back. All right, I know the outside is gorgeous, there's a lot of great features. Let's go check out the huge, spacious, and beautiful inside. Welcome to the beautiful and spacious inside of the 2016 Bay Hill 375 RE. Right here is going to be our sliding glass door. Again, lets in a ton of light, gives you a beautiful view, and if you want to shut out the light, no problem, you'll have MCD roller shade, just like you do throughout the entire coach. And they work phenomenally. Don't have to worry about broken strings, worry about your blinds bending, they're just a fantastic shade. We'll have, to, again, opposing slides here, and, and both of them will have our tri-fold sofas. So they do both fold out into beds if you want your guests to stay. If not, then you never have to let them know. But they're extremely comfortable. You'll also have windows all around in both of your slides, and they are going to open, which creates an amazing cross breeze. Right here in the end is going to be our beautiful entertainment center. You'll have some nice accent lighting, great storage all along the top with our tinted glass and hidden supported, self-supported hinges right there. Here's the three windows I showed you on the outside. Our TV will lower down into the countertop or of course you can raise it up like it is right now. You'll get some storage here and then both of your doors will open, creating additional storage area. Right in the center, you have the, the nice ornate surrounding here, and you're also gonna have your fireplace, which is not only gonna look nice, it's also gonna be extremely functional in the fact that it's gonna be a big electric space heater. It does a great job of heating up the coach without having to turn on your propane. Also right here is going to be our Jensen Multimedia Center. Fantastic multimedia center right there. Um, that is going to not only be a stereo, but that will also be a DVD player. So you can pop a DVD in there, go ahead and watch it on the big screen from the best seat in the house, which is going to be your theater seating. So both your theater seats here will recline. You have some cup holders. You're also going to have a shelf here, great place for your favorite beverage. Or if you have an iPad or anything, you can go ahead and set it there. You'll have a plug in there as well as an electrical outlet here. So you're easily able to charge those electronic devices. As you can see, as we move around, huge open area. Right up here, we have some additional storage. Fantastic, again, it'll have your tinted glass, but that's a nice storage area, just really utilizing that space. More windows, a ton of windows in this coach, lets in a ton of light, just makes it feel really open and airy. Right here, we have this beautiful additional countertop space. And then as we come around and take a look, this has a ton of storage in it. Take a look at this. You have storage all along both sides. These drawers are gonna pull open. And you know what's great about drawers in Bay Hill? Watch this. You see that? They're all easy close, slow close drawers. So it has a magnet that pulls them shut. But that way it doesn't matter how hard you slam it, they'll go ahead and shut nice and soft for you. Fantastic system. Right here is going to be our center island, so you have great storage on the side here, some extra storage. Your beautiful Corian countertops in here as well. You'll have sink top covers. Those are just going to pull right out, and you can see there your undermount stainless steel sink. So nice deep bowls, which makes it uh, really easy to go ahead and do your dishes. And then to aid in that, you're going to have your high-rise stainless steel pull-out faucet. 
also built into the counter if you can come on around you'll get additional storage here which they already have a trash can perfect place for this you don't have to worry about it and take a look at this this drops down that's right you get a dishwasher great feature to have in here that's just an awesome bonus to have you know some people say it's overkill but I'm telling you once you use it you'll love it right here huge pantry you have to have a pantry you have this beautifully decorated glass you get some great shelving in here you'll have the pull out drawers and again look at that slow close right super cool right next to that we have storage up top again your hidden self-supporting hinges beneath we're gonna have our oversized microwave so huge microwave lies manufacturers are putting in small ones not Bay Hill they have this big beautiful stainless microwave there your cooktop right here you can have a three burner cooktop and that is going to be at wood so you do have better flame control also underneath that is going to be your oven and you get additional storage beneath that Right here is going to be our residential refrigerator and freezer. You do have the drawer freezer on bottom. And this is my favorite part right here. You have your ice maker. So that way you can get filtered water right here because the ice maker, of course, you can put it there, get your ice for your drink. You don't have to worry about constantly getting into the freezer. That's a great system to have. Fantastic refrigerator. And again, I showed you the inverter when we were outside. That's what helps run this while you're going down the road. You'll see here you get additional lighting, just beautiful woodwork. Here's going to be your control panel. So this will be for your awning as well as all five of your slides. And then your outside lights as well as your water heater, water pump, and tank monitoring systems. You get additional storage up top here. Great storage there as well as on the side here. And then this is going to be a uh, very designer wine rack. So nice it look nice, but it's also going to be very functional and it'll hold your wine. Additional countertop space here, two more plugins, which is great, can never have enough electrical outlets, more storage here, and a bank of four drawers. Right, great storage there, and we can take a look right here, and we have our fuse panel down below. Also, you do have bow flooring right here, so it's uh, you don't have to worry about any kind of cold cracking, it's gonna be slip resistant as well as uh, scratch resistant. Right here is going to be our table. We do have two additional folding chairs that we have tucked away. In our table, you get some extra storage right back here, and you get a leaf that pulls out. That way, in case you do have additional guests, you can go ahead and have a bigger table area. Beautiful light fixture. Again, windows all around. Windows everywhere in this coach really help lighten it up. We'll head upstairs in just a second, but first I do want to show you right here, which is going to be your central vac. So this is the central vac you're probably used to, just pulls down, you can plug a cord in right here. The other cool thing they have is right here, and this is going to be your toe kick. So what you can do as you're sweeping up, sweeping up, you can just lift this up, that'll turn on your vacuum, you can sweep it right into there, kind of like a hair salon. When you're done, just shut it like that. Makes it super simple and easy. Nice wide steps. Why don't we go ahead and head up, we'll take a look at our bathroom and bedroom. In the bathroom of our 375, we're going to have a beautiful one-piece residential shower. So you'll have your tri-slide glass door, you're going to have a seat shelving on both corners, as well as your nice brush nickel hand wand, just going to make it easier to wash. Up top, you're going to have a skylight, which is going to let in a lot of natural light, as well as give you additional headroom. On one side of the bathroom here is going to be our stool. As you can see, you have plenty of legroom, which is fantastic. Speaking of fantastic, right inside the door is going to be our control for our fantastic fan. That's going to let you control speed or you can control temperature right on here. Here's going to be our mirrored medicine cabinet. And of course, you have the additional storage, some lighting. You'll have great countertop space in the bathroom. And this is going to be a molded in bowl. That's going to be a huge advantage because that means just one less chance for leaks. You'll also have your brush nickel faucet on here, a plug in, of course, and plenty of storage down below for all your towels and everything else you're going to need. All right, let's go take a look at the bedroom. In the bedroom, we're gonna have our beautiful king bed. 
They've done a great job with the fabric choices in here, really help pull it together, especially in conjunction with the beautifully crafted headboard. You also have windows on both sides, gonna allow a great cross breeze that is gonna be set in a slide so you have a full walk around bed. Also, you will have a shelf on one side as well as electrical outlets on both sides. Also on that side of the bed, you will have a very nice closet space, huge closet. You do have washer dryer hookups, that's where your washer dryer can go, as well as a hanging rod. So if you want to hang clothes, you can certainly do that, or you can have a stackable washer and dryer unit. If that's not quite enough hanging space for you, that's okay, because you're going to have additional hanging space in the front wardrobe right up here, as well as great shelving space on top and on both sides. Right here at the foot of the bed, you're gonna have your TV. Great storage up top. They actually use this beautiful curved hardwood and these wave, uh, wave cabinet doors. Just gorgeous on both sides. And then you're gonna have a great dresser right here. This is actually gonna be a very usable dresser. A lot of them, you just get really small drawers. Not in the Bay Hill, you can take a look. It's gonna be a very functional dresser right there. And then right in the center, you're also going to have a trash can. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Again, this is a 2016 Bay Hill 375RE. Beautiful floor plan, has everything you want. You get the gel coat, the poor gel coat exterior. You're gonna have six point hydraulic leveling, a ton of windows in here, including a sliding glass door, beautiful spacious entertainment area, huge kitchen, king bed, what's not to love? If you do have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave those on the video below, or you can give me a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks folks, have a great camping season, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.